what's going on guys? We're nearly at the halfway point of 2020. It's a new decade, and if you still don't know how to make your own chili oil, and you're still buying the commercial stuff in stores, we need to fix that. So, aprons on, let's go. Now obviously, you can't make chili oil if you don't have chili and oil. I've got 3 quarters of a cup or 45 grams of Chinese red chili flakes here, and along with that I've got 2 cups of vegetable oil, but feel free to use whatever oil you want. But neutral flavoured oils with a higher smoke point usually work better for this recipe, so stuff like vegetable, canola or rice bran oils are a good bet. Finally, I've got 10 grams of salt here just to add a little bit of saltiness to our oil, but you can adjust this based on how you want to flavour your oil. So to prepare our chili oil, we're going to first start by combining our chili flakes and our salt into a large heatproof bowl and giving it a good stir until it's all combined. Set this to one side and we can start talking about our aromatics. Starting with our hard or dry aromatics, we're going to be using preferably a piece of cassia bark or Chinese cinnamon, which is easily found in Asian grocers, but this can be substituted with a regular cinnamon stick if needed. Next we've got half a tablespoon or 20 green cardamom pods, which was actually a bit too much for this recipe, so I've adjusted the amount in the recipe in the description below. We've also got 5 star anise pods for some aniseed notes, but don't worry, the chili oil won't taste like licorice. Then we've got 3 tablespoons of Sichuan peppercorns which will add a pepper and then finally we've also got 3 bay leaves for a bit of savouriness. Moving along to our soft or wet aromatics, we have a 5cm knob of ginger that has been cut into half centimetre slices, 3 large spring onions that have been cut into 10cm chunks, 1 red onion that has been top and tailed, peeled and cut into half centimetre slices, and 5 garlic cloves with the skin still on and they've just been lightly crushed to help them release their oils. Moving over to the stove, we've got a saucepan with a candy thermometer ready to go. We're going to add in all of our aromatics along with our vegetable oil. And then if you don't have enough oil to cover everything up, just add in about a cup's worth at a time until it's completely covered. Then we're going to turn this up to a high heat until things start to get hot and bubbly. Once you can see some activity in the pan and it's starting to bubble and the oil is starting to get hot, we can turn the heat down to medium and keep an eye on the temperature because we want to bring the oil up to anywhere between 107 and 121 degrees Celsius. Once the oil is sitting within this range, we're going to patiently let the oil extract all the flavours from our aromatics for 1 to 2 hours. As the oil continues to extract all the flavours from our aromatics, we just want to make sure to keep an eye on the temperature and increase or lower the heat as necessary to keep it within that range of 107 to 121 degrees Celsius. This temperature range ensures that our spices are getting nice and hot, but not to the point where they're going to burn and ruin all the flavours of our oil. Two hours later. After two hours of patiently looking after our oil, you should see that your aromatics are now deeply darkened, but they haven't burnt. Now we're just going to skim off all of our spices and set them aside to cool down before discarding properly. And then you want to keep the oil on the heat and make sure that it's still within 107 to 121 degrees Celsius before we move on to the next step. Once you've skimmed off all of your aromatics, you want to make sure that the oil is still nice and hot before pouring it over your chili flakes. Let the oil slowly come down to room temperature over the course of a couple of hours and give the bowl a good stir every half an hour or so just to move things around a bit. After the oil has cooled down, you can transfer it into some airtight containers and just admire the beautiful aromatic chili oil that you've made at home. Alright guys, there you have it. Homemade chili oil that will absolutely destroy the stuff that you can buy in supermarkets. This stuff lasts for 6 months in the fridge and it goes well on just about everything. The obvious choice being dumplings and luckily for you I have a video for that so click the eye in the top right corner if that's something that you want to check out. Now I get that some people may not want to make this recipe because it can get quite pricey buying all of these spices but do keep in mind that these spices usually come in larger packs and it opens you up to using them in a bunch of different recipes so think of it as investing in your pantry rather than buying stuff just to make chili oil. As always guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, drop it a like below and share it with your friends and family. Let me know what skills, tricks and techniques you want to learn in the future. And when you're ready for another power up, I'll be waiting for you right here with another training arc. Peace.